Today is currently Saturday, it's a weekend, and the boys are just waking up. I just had a cup of tea, cleaned the house, and now I think we're gonna go out. Uh, I've got my two of our chairs coming today as well later on this afternoon, which I'm super excited for. That means then we can all sit down and have a meal. Me and Sean sat down at the table and had a meal, but we haven't had a meal as like a family yet. Um, and the children are super excited to actually sit down and use the chairs for a meal. And I think I'm gonna go to the Metro Centre today, maybe do something with the children. I don't know, like maybe bowling or something, or we could go like to another um, Jump 360 or something like that. But we're gonna do something, we're gonna go out. <laughs> Sean's ready to go out already. All ready guys. And I'm gonna be going to Boots, and call me crazy if you like, but I'm going to get some surgical masks and some alcohol rub, um, just in case this coronavirus starts to get like majorly like out of control. It's already like reached Newcastle. Babe, I think that's a bit crazy. It's not crazy. I think it's that's not crazy. I think it's crazy we get some masks. Surg I'll be getting the full body suits. <laughs> sure, I think. I, think I don't think it's nice. crazy. I don't think it's crazy. I mean, at the end of the day, it can like spread really fast, and I think you've got to be. I know, well but prepared. there's only like two cases in the UK. I think. I'm getting surgical masks for everyone if you like or not. Leave a comment down below. Should he get surgical masks or shouldn't he? <laughs> I don't think he should, guys. I see. No, I think I, I don't know. I've, I've, I've been following the story on the news and I'm kind of like a little bit concerned, to be honest. I don't think I'll go out wearing them yet, but mm -hmm. I think like just get some like in your first aid kit just in case. I, I know you think I'm <laughs> nuts. Crazy, guys. But I, I, I honestly think we should at least get some it's like just in case. I mean, because. It can spread really fast. Mm. They're already sold out in London. Um, and boots, Are they? boots don't have them in anymore. Wow, that says something, doesn't it? So I'm hoping the one down ours might have some in, but they're quite expensive. I think like the twenty-two pound for a pack. Wow. I don't know how many you get in it, but I've been priced them up. Now you surgical masks. Deadly coronavirus. Um, I think we might get some fish today as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I think we'll go and have a look in Petzl Homes first, and then we'll have a look at Jolly's as well. Yeah. I won't make you wear the surgical mask. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously guys, is anybody else concerned? Because I'm like a little bit of a, um, I, I don't know, like a little bit like sketchy and stuff like this. Even when the Ebola thing came, I was like worried at the time. I don't know, maybe I just worry too much, but I'm getting some, they're going in the first aid kit, um, and I'm also getting some alcohol um, hand rub, just to basically when we're out and about after touching trolleys and stuff, just to wipe our hands down, just taking procedures it is um a, a world health problem at the moment so i don't know scary stuff i said it in the other video and here it happens somebody in york um i think there were like two chinese university students um had the virus and then they got took to our city center's hospital to get quarantined so i mean that is sketchy like it really is but anyways enough of the negative like all of the crazy talk that's what i'm doing let me know in the comment section what you guys are doing whether you guys are worried or not about it or am i just overthinking it reassure me in the comment section let me know if i'm overthinking it um or should like i be taking these procedures getting the masks getting the alcoholic hand rub um because i mean down london they've already sold out and i don't want them to be selling out up here in newcastle so i'm going to get my masks early just in case they do sell out um, and I think if it does start to get like really bad, I think I'm gonna buy like <laughs> six months worth of food and I'm not even gonna leave the house. If, if, if it gets to that level, I'll buy six months worth of food and water and we'll just not leave, we'll just just isolate ourselves from the rest of the world. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, I suppose it's like, you know, there's, is anybody else watching The Walking Dead? It's like that kind of like vibe that I'm getting from it all, like a zombie oh, apocalypse is it's happening. Like the, um, bird box, isn't it? Yeah, that's what Sean yeah. said. Do you think it's like the bird box, yeah, didn't you? Because if you go outside, you're gonna get like not well. Yeah. In bird box. If you go outside, you die. You do. You're gonna turn into like the bad side. Cut an airborne virus, isn't it? Yeah. 
But also, since you just mentioned that, Netflix have actually made a documentary on it. Think about that, Netflix is quick on it. So yeah, sketchy stuff. I and mean, then I'm gonna go get these surgical masks and head up to an aquarium to get some fish stuff. See you guys in just a bit. So I've just got, yeah, and it looks like I'm not gonna be able to buy any from there. Any from there. Or there. Or there, there, or there. So I think the only ones I can get are any of these ones down here. Or oh, maybe some of these ones from up here. Whoa, he looks beautiful. Might get him actually. He's massive. I don't even know what kind of fish he is. But I think I might get him. So I'm gonna go and ask the lady if all of the fish are off limit, not just the ones I've shown you. Because I have got all the lights off in the tank, so um, there might not be any available here. But there's none available here, I might go to another store and see if we've got any in there. It seems every time I'm looking for fish, they're always like sold out or they've just arrived in, you can't take them. So it turns out that, bad news, all of them are off because they've put like a few bags of like other water into the other tanks. It's fish stuff, it's like fish tank stuff. Basically when they have new fish, they have like water that comes in from like the other like aquariums and it mixes in so they've got like let it settle and stuff. But look at these bad boys, these are beautiful these two. Have you seen the size of those two, Stephanie, there? See how big they are? Massive. And then you got all the little ones down there. So I was thinking of getting some angel fish, but like I said, it looks like I'm gonna have to come back. You guys found? Funny, those big ones. Oh, look at them. He's our Dino. We really want to get it, we do. You what? I really want to keep it. We really want to get it. Oh, yeah. It stands up and goes like that on the glass. And it's cute. How cute is it? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's as cute as anything. Look. <laughs> he's a cute, he's a cute little dude, though, isn't he? Yeah, that one's so cute. This one's chubby. He's very chubby. But that one. <laughs> I want to keep it. Damn. Damn. Did you do it again? Look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's so cute. <laughs> he's so bad because he's just trapped in the cage by himself. Yeah, he wants to be out. I think that's what he's doing it for. Hey, you're oh, up right there, you are. <laughs> just buy out of emotion we got to buy with our brains not with our hearts a few hours later so big fam my chairs have arrived the other two that i ordered because i changed my mind on the bench i wanted chairs instead and here it is guys so you got three on this side and obviously there's going to be three on that side you can hold us oh they look smart which are going to go on about there really nice in the middle like that that looks good and have you got any other idea for like this? Yeah, so I'm going to have a tray, a glass mirror tray that's going to go in the middle there. Then I'm going to have like a candle and um, some oil or something like that there. And then another candle holder is going to go on that side. But I want my table runner to go along the table as well. And I don't know, I think we are going to get some wine glasses and some nice pink plates and have it like set up. So you're going for like the pink and silver look on the table as well as the chairs over there. Yeah, so nice Looking, nice and very looking nice. pretty good. And I got a huge mirror as well. To huge go on that mirror. wall. To go on that I'll wall. show them the mirror now, yeah? Yeah, show them that. I mean, you guys are going to get to see what all looks like when it's out, but that's the mirror there. Huge circle mirror. Um, obviously, this is like a replicate of the other thing that Stephanie's just shown you there. And but then yeah. we're thinking because this mirror kind of doesn't go yeah. with the theme is to move that mirror over there yeah. next to the chair and then have like some nice photos on that wall. Yeah. And um you guys may have seen like these like stains here, like they're not stains, they're like like light marks, you see them. We used some filler on the walls a while back, about two years ago, and every time we paint over it, it just never ever seems to cover it. So we're gonna get some a nice big photo frame to cover it there. 
and then obviously some photo frames to cover that more cuts over there as you guys can see it's not dirt it's actually filler so i mean like the filler there every time you paint over it it just doesn't seem to paint like it leaves like, a glossy shine on it so there's like the normal wall there and then that's where like we're filled in some holes and some gaps just uh, honestly absolute regret using that filler, filler i do Hey fam, Sean has just finished putting the mirror up, my new circle mirror, and oh my word guys, I absolutely love it. I'll turn you guys around, it just puts a finishing touch on my table. Obviously I need like a couple more things, like a, um, a mirror tray to go on the centre of the table, a nice lovely pink runner to go along the table as well and then we're going to move this mirror hopefully it'll fit over there next to the chairs but i'll just turn you around and show you my new mirror so this is currently my new mirror guys and it makes the table look so good two minutes i'll come outside so i can just show you there look at that i'm so happy with it it really really makes the Maybe we'll just like stand off that little bit more. Um, but I desperately need to get this sorted out. This is really, really annoying me. Sean's already explained about that. And I need to get some candles for in here as well. These are new. And I think the yellow doesn't go. I didn't realise there were yellow lilies. I didn't even know that you could get yellow lilies. Um, but I'm going to go out to the shops and get some white lilies. And then maybe put them in my bedroom for now. But I absolutely love it, Bee Fam. Now we can have a meal on there. And we might go to the shops and like get a nice meal for us all to have on the table. The children are super excited to sit down and eat on here as well. But yeah, this definitely doesn't go. So this definitely needs to like be moved somewhere. I need to find a spot for it somewhere. But it's because I've got like the silver and the white and the grey. The black just doesn't go. So hopefully it'll fit lovely over here as well and hopefully it's the right size and um, but now we're going to go back out with the children maybe just grab some food from somewhere or like i don't know what we're going to do now guys but i had to like spend half the day in the house and wait for this delivery for my chairs and mirror but i love them i really do guys i'm like so impressed with it i really do love it um and we actually seen a really really nice lamp to go here as well in this corner we were thinking just because when we turn this one off it gets a bit dark over here in this corner but when you've got that lamp on like it doesn't really go over here so i want to try and find like a nice little lamp to go there as well not little big lamp to go there but yeah house is finally getting finished the way i want it the thing is guys when you're decorating your house like we'll like buy things and then you will like go oh i don't like it like in a couple of months or yes time and it takes time to find like the perfect thing i don't know like to have everything like fit perfectly i think it takes time um and then once you're happy with it like you're happy with it with it for a good couple of years i don't know if that makes sense i might just be rambling but yeah, I'm so impressed with how the house has turned out. The living room is looking smart. And I'm so glad that Sean was able to put yeah. that over there as well because it fits perfectly over there. Yeah. You're doing a really, really good job. And it's not wasteful. I don't think you've seen, but I saw I could build up further if you wanted us to. Yeah, no. But it's up to you. But I don't think time. we will. I think maybe we might have some underneath the TV. Yeah. Oh, we need to get a, a radiator cover as well. I'm going to have a look online now white or before black? we go out. Probably white. White. Okay. But I mean black would still go but probably white would go better. Yeah, I'll cut it in because I think you probably need to take a bit off the side there. Yeah. I'm thinking. But yeah, anyways, I think we're gonna go out now with the children, grab some food from somewhere. Yeah. Um and maybe do like an activity or something. Are I you happy know. with it? Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm it's happy like that so nice. the thing is I'm happy to see you happy, that's what makes me happy. Yeah. It's nice when I, when I see you smile, it just makes me happy. Home's never finished, you're constantly adding to it. Everyone will tell you that like you constantly think you've got it right and then the next time a new trend comes out you start changing it up yeah yeah it's just constantly changing but anyways kitchen's pretty much done um this is pretty much done which room's yeah. next and stephanie probably our bedroom okay <laughs> our bedroom doesn't need much work it just needs a new bed and that's it i think maybe some new flooring mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. But anything else, the cupboards and everything, well, I definitely keep think in the them. floor needs to be taken up. Yeah. Maybe just... carpet. I don't know. I was thinking maybe some white tiles. Yeah, we could go for tiles actually. That would be nice. It's much cleaner. It's just because. Two seconds, Kayla. The amount of carpets we would have went through in this house if I never tiled the floor. I think tiles are much better, aren't they? As well, just much to cleaner, clean. especially the, when you've the, got children. Because I think the laminate, yeah. like we had laminate floor and we still got some in the house, but I feel like it absorbs water when you mop. Yeah, it does. You know, yeah. Not all of it, like on the top, but I feel like it goes down between the gap. And it, it, it doesn't last that long. You have mm -hmm. to change it every couple of years. Yeah. As if when you tile a floor, you don't have to change it. Like it's a ten, yeah, ten year guarantee. Agree. Ten year guarantee. We've had this floor down for like six years, seven years now. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, we'll catch you in a bit. It's a little bit later on in the evening, B fam, and we've decided to come to our local retail centre. It is absolutely huge. It's definitely one of the biggest retail centres within our local area. We've came to Team Valley's retail centre. We've actually come here to go to PC. Curry's slash Curry's PC World um, because they actually do have a dishwasher which you guys know we've been looking for for a while now that actually fits perfectly into our kitchen um, so we got recommended a nice dishwasher from one of you guys um, I think it was before the Christmas we were gonna go for that one but when we measured it it was like centimeters off from the site it just wouldn't fit yeah. so thank you for helping out everyone for that um, but we're gonna go in here choose the one that we've seen online that's gonna that actually is gonna fit um, and then I think we're gonna be going out with the kids go got all the kids in the back of the car oh he's good I'm gonna duck him down <laughs> there's Sean, Logan, Dion and kids they have a back up here um, is he asleep is he? Yeah. Oh, we've just came to the Raven's Worms Arms um, it's basically like a country pub um, it's located just off the A1 next to Team Valley so we're gonna come here hopefully get a table for six and have some food we've been literally hungry all day I means that we didn't have dinner so we just had breakfast and it's like nearly like 6 30 now so last time we had something it was like nine o'clock this morning so we're gonna go and get some food we'll catch you guys up when we are inside life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop So we're currently inside having our food Stephanie's just ordering the food for the children Kids have all got drinks How are these guys doing? What are you doing on TikTok are you? Yeah, <laughs> just yeah not TikTok Not doing a TikTok We got like a bottle of Prosecco so we're just gonna have a glass of that I pour Stephanie a glass and myself a glass So this is the bottle of Prosecco that we went for, um, it tastes really nice, nice and sweet. We had this last time we came, didn't we? Can you remember having it last time? Yeah. I think it's about a year and a half ago now. It's about the same time. Maybe it was, yeah. But we came during the day last time, didn't we? We did, yeah. yeah. Lovely atmosphere, like, really nice yeah, outside lovely as well. Yeah, so what you got, Caleb? He's got crayons and he's got like this minute colouring. <laughs> How cool is that, Caleb? Oh, pretty cool. Oh, it's, it's a pear, Caleb. Green, well done. Caleb was like, no, I've got you folks, yes, yours. I was like, no, Caleb, the one for you. There's a set for your store and then there's a set for your main course. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like kids, kids feel strange for things, don't they? Yeah, it's just so funny, aren't they? Uh, yeah, let's have a nice evening out with the family, a little bit of a celebration. Um, life's treating well, really, so I hope we'd take the kids out, have a nice meal, nice family meal out. Yeah, it's yeah. Nice. Yeah. Morgan got veggie slicks and sauce and then everybody else got garlic bread. Caleb's is nearly already gone. <laughs> so Caleb and Logan went for pizza, garlic bread and veggie steak. Chips and peas and Sean you went for Pizza, garlic bread. I know you don't like vegetables, Caleb. Caleb hates vegetables, guys. Just eat the pizza and the garlic bread, okay? 
So our main dish has arrived. I went for the Hunter's chicken. Looks so good. So I went for a premier garment burger. It's got like egg, it's got um, cheese, it's just packed. Looks absolutely delicious. You get some fries of it as well. A little bit of BBQ sauce as well. How is it, John? The burger is like an inch bacon, it's like massive, really good. And the bacon that pops it on really good. Good burger. Are you feeling full, Caleb? <laughs> You're full. Yeah. Yeah. So Dad and Caleb are currently playing for more. <laughs> Did Daddy win? And then for pudding, we're finishing off with vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream for uh -oh. Logan. Is it nice, Caleb? And then Jan and Sean got. Oh, Dad, you want to show them? You got sticky toe, you put in an ice cream, didn't you? Yeah, but then you've got to run the risk. And now, what do you get? Just the sticky pudding giant with sticky cream. toffee pudding with cream. So, we've just finished up in the Raisin Worms Arms. Um, an absolutely lovely place to take the family for a nice family meal. Um, I think now it's back to the car for us. I'll just show you guys the beer garden. The beer garden looks absolutely beautiful. I think we'll be coming back down here in the summer to sit in the beer garden. Look at this place, guys. It's all lit up, it's just absolutely beautiful. I don't know if my camera's actually doing it justice. They've also got like a little cocktail bar over there where like you can get cocktails and stuff. Um, and also, I don't know if I told you guys this before, but they also do accommodation. So you can actually stay here in case you're fancy having a few more than you should have. Um, they've got like nice little apartment places up there where you can just stay. And I don't know if you book it through the pub or like you book it online. But it's definitely something to check out if you're interested in staying in the local area. We're gonna go up to is that oh. Angel or North? We can see up there. That's the Angel or North. There it is. <laughs> if oh. I could see it. Um, back to the car. Um, we're gonna go to Sainsbury's, pick up some milk and some shaving foam. And that's just just about it. And I'll see you guys when I get back home. So we are back home, beef farm. We've just fed the fish. I'll show you guys the fish. Yeah, and a bit of a feed going on there. Got a little Colin the cleaner down there, he cleans the tank. And I think I'll have to show you guys the fish that I will get because Pets for Homes was actually unavailable to supplies of any fish. So he's just scuba diving straight at the top up there, this guy. <laughs> um, so I think I'll have to show you guys the fish from a different store. I think I'm going to go out tomorrow and buy some, so I'll show you guys them tomorrow. But I've got my eyes on a couple. But I just love feeding them, I just think it's something nice about just watching them. Uh, it's just a nice thing to have. And anyways, I'll sit there and watch them all day. And I'll not get around to ending the video. Um, but before I end the video, I'd like to give a big thank you to everybody who's hung out with us today. Um, and if it's your first time watching, hit subscribe. Also put a like on the video, be fam. We really do appreciate it. All the thumbs up mean the world to us. So keep smashing the video for lots of likes, guys. It really does mean a lot. Um, and we'll end today's vlog. Um, as always, our beautiful bee fam, hashtag be yourself, hashtag be different. And until the next vlog, guys, good night.